a warm welcome from my side and the outside for sure. And uh, a special hello to my friends or our friends in the current USA. I would like to show you the current 3200 system, the new fast multi format system from Kern, a little more in detail. And I would like to start with our unwinder from Honkeler, the UW8 version, the newest version from Honkeler, which is integrated with an interface into the current system. Following the unwinder, we have the already by most of people well-known Cutter 996, which can perform up to 72,000 sheets in A4 format per hour. Also, the cutter is able to run 3.5 to 18 inch format and up to 180 gram paper. Last but not least, the cutter is also able to process logical and unlogical printed work. Hello from my side as well. My special hello goes to Japan. <laughs> um, the 996 brings advanced features when it comes to white paper processing. What does that mean? <clears throat> if you process a job, it can happen that there's a white paper zone either in a job or between the jobs. R996 automatically detects the white paper zone and diverts this into the bin right at the cutter automatically. After the cutting process, we have the highly flexible system channel, which makes it able to process almost all applications that are around. That, what makes it possible it consists of a grouping table, which, is, which makes it possible to run and group from above or below. And by the way, all the stations I show you now can be open for simple access. After grouping, we have a four-pocket folding unit, followed by a rotating table which makes it possible to turn the documents right-hand side or left-hand side to make it possible to process in C4 or flat format. After that, we have the main grouping table. And last but not least, we have the possibility to turn over by 180 degrees the whole document group. As an example from face up, to face down, or vice versa. Hey, by the way, the grouping table, the main grouping table here, can group up to 100 sheet. Another feature or highlight the system channel brings is the automatic adjustment. So it, let's say if you want to change an application, go from flat to 6 by 9, you have a different width of the documents. The system channel automatically adjusts that. The insert module or the enclosure modules are modular. That means they always come in pair. So you can equip them with two friction feeders, as you can see it here, with the option to add Wacom support. And it is possible to process up to 12 millimeter thick booklets from those friction feeders. The other possibility is to equip the machine with rotary feeders. And it is possible to configure the machine with up to 16 stations. To add a little bit of security while processing, you can add reading devices, cameras, on the enclosure stations to have the enclosures under control. So it just verifies if the correct enclosures are set with the enclosure stations. While talking about reading, we have different kind of reading capabilities 
The first one at the 996, the second one, as I just mentioned here, and the third one at the envelope stations. I'm able now to match the document against the enclosure against the envelope. So if you run an application with personalized messages, personalized document, personalized enclosures, and personalized en um, envelopes, then you can match that while reading. Another reading device is back here. This is the output reading. So we can match the input reading against the output reading. So what has been read at the input needs to be read at the output. So the same sequence, basically. Another scenario why we can use an output reading is just to read the code and see if the address is visible through the envelope window. One of the absolute highlights of the new 3200 inserting system is definitely the new developed inserting module. Especially the second optional configurable envelope hopper makes the machine more flexible and even faster for changeovers. In addition to all that, we have now the possibility to already divert um, envelopes in a bad quality just before the inserting process in that bin down here. The same we can do also for document groups up here. That's specially needed if you will run matching jobs as BRDH just before mentioned. A last thing I would like to point out is also the inserting principle itself. By using lamellas we have a contactless inserting process which allows us that the document never contact the envelope when we push it in. As you have seen so far, the system is easy operation from one side. What does that bring? In case the system has an error, a jam or some other error, the operator doesn't have to go all the way around to fix this error. He can do that from one side. Another benefit is what Zauk Stefan mentioned in his presentation. The system is reloadable with material while the system is producing. Finally, we come to the output section. As you know from current machines in general, we have also here all the possibility to add divert bins, print modules, markers, meters, vertical stackers, pulse tray systems, or even a shingling conveyor. All that is possible to add on a 3200 system as well. The system was built under two premises, preventive error handling, handling and production efficiency. So we want to increase the production efficiency. Let me give you a few examples of what I mean. Um, Daniel mentioned that we can divert an envelope here into a special envelope, envelope divert bin. If the system puts an envelope down and makes it ready to be inserted and the flap cannot be opened, the system detects that and the system slows down the speed diverts the envelope down here, takes, takes the next one, inserts it, and just keeps going. So therefore, we reduced an error. It doesn't crash. This was the automatic way. Another way is the inserted panel that Stefan Zaug mentioned in his presentation. It's on the MMI of this system available, and it shows top five errors. The idea is to have the machine operator fix those top five errors so they will not occur in, the, occur in the future. So that means when I get there, fix, for instance, an enclosure pole that always keeps failing, it doesn't happen anymore. Preventive error handling. Increase efficiency. Second topic where our development put the brains together. Um, the speed of the system is automatically being calculated by the page collision. 
So the thicker an envelope is, the more pages, the more sheets are in, the slower the system gets, the thinner the system, the, excuse me, page collision is, the faster the system is. The system automatically detects the page collision and calculates the perfect speed for this application that is currently being processed. You will get to see that once we show the system life, that at the very beginning, we have a high page collision, we have a, low, a slow speed, and then the page collision goes down so the system keeps running in a higher speed. Okay, um, before we now start with the live presentation, I would like to explain you another highlight, which is our application on the machine you can see later on. As you can see in the animation now, we will start with a C5 job, and the machine will see the end of this job by themselves, by adding one parameter, one extra parameter in the reading. So you can see, once that happens, the machine stops and runs empty. Once the machine is empty, it starts fully automatically to change over to the next job. In this case, it also changed the format from a 6x9 or C5 job to a C4 or flat application. Here you can see that on the inserter, for sure the whole machine is changing over full automatically. Once that's done, it starts again fully automatically running the next job. What you can see here in the animation as well. That's what we just now will show you live on the 3200 inserting system. What I would like to point out shortly before we start is, if you remember, I mentioned at the very beginning that on the Unwinder there is an interface with the 996 continuous cutter. So once the machine is staying a certain time, all the web changed to loose web. So now, when then Thomas will start the application, it will take a while, a few seconds, to get everything to tight web again before we can run the system. That's why it will take a few seconds before the machine really starts running. So now, let's start with the live demonstration. Thomas, can you please start the engine? <laughs> 